Okay, this is here still at night. So the response we got from the, the previous video one. we took the other night was big oil is what makes this town go. Mm -hmm. And cheap labor. Yep, that's And that true. cheap labor from Mexico. And that the downturn's going to hit here very hard when it hits. And it may, but certainly we don't see it here yet. I think wow. what several things is down. One is it's so huge here because it has a big enough base that it can absorb if one particular sector gets hit pretty hard, it can survive. Um, and the economy is so diversified. The other thing I didn't mention too much the other night is it's very business friendly. So that if you build something, if you make something, if you, uh, the restrictions are a lot less here than say in California or New York. So that's, that's pretty attractive. Uh, another reason it's doing relatively well here is there's lots of skilled labor, not only professional labor, but skilled trade labor. So they can make about anything here. And they have plenty of workers to do it. Another point that I didn't uh, dwell on too much was the fact that it's international, so you have lots of foreign companies. Right, you, that's you, true. you have a the Latino Hispanic population is twice as big as the African American population. There's a very large Vietnamese population here too. And so you get all kinds of ethnicities here. And it's a mix. And then of course there's no uh, state income tax. So that um, that's a plus, but yeah. on the other hand, some of the taxes like property taxes are high. Fairly high. Uh, some of the trade-offs are it's not a very pretty city and that there's not a lot of trees, parks. It's kind of you sort of it's America. You, you, you build and you, you build where it is and and you build some more, so there's not a lot of, it doesn't seem like a lot of long-term planning, except for maybe a place like Sugar Land, which is kind of an enclave. Uh, and it's built on the uh, freeway system, the highway, you have to drive. So at some point, uh, and of course oil is fairly cheap and plentiful here, but if the oil ever gets crunched, it, this, this would be really hurt, because it's... Uh, but right now, it seems to be doing pretty well. And of the 20 states we've been in, or the 22 states we've been in, roughly half the states in the last year, a little over a year, um, this is probably by far the most economically vibrant area. One other point is, is that it has room to grow because once you get 40 or 50 miles north of downtown Houston, you're in the suburbs still, but then, then it turns to ranch land and woods and so there's plenty of room to grow and at some point what we probably see are these satellite types of cities with mass transit like bullet trains or take some of the load off the highways. And there's trade-offs, always. But it's not to say there's not negatives here, but there's a lot of positives here as well as negatives. It seems that everything in Houston is a little more extreme than about anywhere else. So it's interesting. We'll put this one up and see what other comments we get on the uh, Houston videos.